Despite pleas from health leaders, the holiday travel rush is in full swing. Many people are passing through South Florida airports. Their busiest travel day is still to come. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at Miami International with the details. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. Pretty quiet right now here at Miami International Airport. But an airport spokesperson told me last week that they saw two days that made up some of their busiest days since the start of the pandemic. The holiday rush continues. With New Year's nearly upon us, travelers are racing to get to their destinations. We're traveling away from Miami. We have been here for six, six nights. Aria from New Jersey says she's heading home to be with her family. It was her first time traveling during the pandemic. And I've been working like from home the whole year and it was just, you know, I needed to get away. But with traveling, she says she kept COVID in mind. And the, the only scary part was the airplane. You know, and uh, but we tested for COVID like before we come here and it was like negative and then we were in mask and like hand sanitizer all the time. About 140,000 people are expected to pass through both major South Florida airports on New Year's. Jaime Jefes from Mexico will see his family for the first time since the pandemic. Came to spend the holidays with my family. He says he felt safe flying. I feel very safe. People having the mask. Even still, health experts have urged people to pass on holiday travel this year. I would look at the 300,000 Americans who are not here with us, um, whose Christmas dinners are going to be empty, looking at those empty chairs. I am terrified of what we're going to see after the holidays from based on what I'm seeing now. And Maribel, we spoke also with the spokesperson about some projections for this holiday travel season. MIA is projecting more than a million passengers for those couple of weeks that are considered holiday travel season. But even still, some perspective there that more than a million passengers, still half of what we saw last year. I'm live outside MIA, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.